reigning world champion and world number two on the, the right for compound semi-final number two. It is Natalia Avdieva who will go up against Tanya Gelantin of Denmark who is the world number eight. Representing the Russian Federation, the reigning champion of the world, Natalia Avdieva. And her opponent, shooting on target number two, representing Denmark, a silver medalist from Guatemala City only weeks ago, Tanya Galanti. The line judge for this matchup is Tanvir Ahmed. Semi-final number two. Well, here we are, the other half of the final four. Natalia Avdieva of Russia, world number two, up against Tanya Galantina of Denmark, the world number eight. Simple question, Nikki, who's your favourite for this one? I'm going to go with Tanya. I think, you know, although uh, Natalia is the higher world ranked, I think Tanya's more on form right now, as we saw in Guatemala. So, yeah, it's going to be a tight match. Avdieva, reigning world champion, of course. As you say, a silver medal for Galantine in Guatemala. Losing in a shoot-off. Never won a stage. Nine. Gets us off the mark here, though. Galantine with a nine. Nine. Interesting. I think they both drifted left there. Um, so these archers will have come off the practice field onto this main field event. Ten. Maybe differences in the wind from that venue to this. But getting back in the middle now. Nine. Nine. Counting finishing with a 28 here, can be matched by nine. Diva, but three nines from her means a 27. Okay, um, you're the expert, one, Nikki. You, How clean is this shooting? Clean? Yeah, I mean, is it, 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 to me it just looks like that, that neither of them are quite settled into a, a steady rhythm. It's not the, it doesn't feel like a natural process. Yeah, I think, you know, we've had very few events coming in, getting that um, back on your game straight away, the conditions are going to put you off that a little bit, give a little doubt in your mind perhaps about, you know, making that really lovely shot as you want to. So, yeah, I mean, we'll probably see them settle down a bit, but um, some big, big movements, big follow-throughs here. Um, but just trying to get the right balance in the shot. So you're looking for like an equal pressure of the front arm and the back arm and that shot to break to get, you know, that perfect release, that perfect uh, execution. Yeah, it's in interesting because you, you, know, you, I mean, you're, you coach at a very high level, so you know exactly what these archers are doing in the minutia. But even for me, it looked like some of the movements were quite big and just not consistent. Each shot didn't look the same for either athlete. So this is still very much up in the air. It's Galantine with a slender one-point lead. So Natalia Avdieva of Russia will shoot first in end number two. There is quite a difference between these two arches. I mean, Natalia's shooting a wrist release, so, you know, first fingers on the on the trigger. You can have probably less back tension with that, whereas uh, Tanya's shooting a, a, a handheld release. She's got a thumb on the trigger, you can see there. So she's really using her back tension. You see a bigger movement of her back arm as that shot breaks, and that's why. It's because they're shooting the bows in different ways. Beautiful from Natalia Avdieva. I have to say, uh, that's a, a different archer that's come out for the second end. She looks so much more solid. Grouping fantastic from Tanya Gelantin as well. A definite 10 for the last arrow, but two arrows subject to a measure. I, I've got to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure that either of them are going to get marked up. 
Or both could get marked up. What, what do you think? Yeah, we didn't get a good enough view to, to make that call, but <clears throat> what a fantastic group, and the arrows were kind of hitting each other. You could hear them into the target, so just need to make a tweak on her sight, really, to really utilise her group. Such a good group. Yeah, and you talk about the arrows hitting each other, which we've mentioned before. Just for people that don't, you know, can't quite picture what 50 metres is, they are hitting something, what, the size of a... Uh, not even the width of a or diameter of a tennis ball. Yeah, that's right. I mean, 50 metres is probably half your standard football pitch. Um, so, yeah, to, to hit a tennis ball at that, uh, that distance uh, is incredibly difficult. Yeah, well, and then to hit an arrow that's already in the tennis ball as well is it makes it even more <laughs> difficult. Uh, incredible shooting and the difference from both of the archers coming into the second. Then uh, perhaps some nerves, perhaps the wind played an effect in the first, but in the second, both archers shooting absolutely superbly a perfect for Natalia Avdieva uh, as it turns out it was a perfect also for Tanya Gelantine Both drifting high. Nine. I think the archers are looking a little bit confused as <laughs> to what's going on here. Conditions looking fairly still, but another long hold. Ten. The result that time was pretty good though, wasn't it? <laughs> right on the spider. Just can't tell with these conditions here. It makes it so intriguing. Nine. So another three nines, like the first end for Avdieva, puts her on an 84. Massive opportunity here for Galantine to storm into the lead, and she does it with a beautiful pair of tens at the end, and has jumped into a three-point lead here. Uh, I, I can't tell you what's going on. First, first end, both archers struggling for whatever reason second end both archers shooting perfect third end both archers struggling again conditions yeah it's a mixture of conditions isn't it conditions and pressure um as we talked about it's just first sort of competitions back and getting back on form with the pressure of being on this finals field uh, any telltale hints of uh, technique issues? I mean, you can see that there's a telltale hint that she's not happy with that shot. But is there anything that in particular that you can see going wrong with the shot? We can see differences in the timing. So what I look for is consistency in that timing. Coming up to full draw, settling down, and then that shot breaking within a consistent period. So usually anything between two, five seconds, but we're seeing quite an erratic difference. Sometimes the shot's going very quickly, other times a bit slower. And that's a bit of a telltale sign that you're process isn't working quite as well as you'd like it to. Well, it's Galantine that's come out of the first three ends with the lead. And it is three points. Very strong position with just six arrows left from both archers. It will be Natalia Avdieva who will shoot first. Yeah. She, she just looks angry. Both really settling down now. Quite fast shots. We just talked about the timing. Both in a bit better of a rhythm. A bit wilder release. Again, that may be where the balance is just off a little bit. A bigger movement at the back arm, then just took it out into the nine. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect Another score. perfect uh, from Avdieva. Still big opportunity to maintain the lead here. Nine, Nine is enough. She will hold on to a one-point lead, and, and you'd rather be in that position than behind after four. But you talked about balance. Just go a little bit more specific. You know, it's not like she's about to fall over, is it? That's not what you mean by balance, is it? No, we're talking about this 50-50 sort of front arm, back arm. So you'll have a power across your shoulders, across your back, and you want to feel like you're at full draw and someone cuts the rope, you know, and the, the shot just breaks. You want to have a perfect kind of balance front and back. 
and sometimes that's just off a little bit perhaps you pull in too hard most people are um, and that gives a little bit of a, a movement you can see in the body um, which can send it either left or right there's a great deal of anger in that face, isn't there? Determination, perhaps, is the more PC world to use, but she does look angry. She shoots angry. Whatever works, she's pegged back two of the three-point deficit. Natalia Avdieva, a 32-year-old Russian, trails by a single point going into the final end. Shooting first, a job as always is to put the pressure on with big scores. You talk about that anger. I mean, there are different ways to approach these matches. You can get angry and, you know, attack the target. Um, this is a martial art at the end of the day. Oh, Eight. dropping a low one there. She won't be happy with. Um, but, you know, it is attacking an attacking sport. You have to commit the shot. Um, but, you know, that can also be emotional as well to be angry. Well, solid there and a nod of confirmation. This is tricky for Avdieva. Beautiful finish on a 10. The 8 is subject to a measure. So, as we can see, it doesn't look right, but a 9 to confirm the win for Galantine. Pulled that, left the best till last. A perfect score, finishing on a 145. It doesn't matter what happens to the measure on that 8 for Avdieva. It will not give her enough to overhaul Tanya Galantine. Nikki, you called the first one, you've called the second one. Brilliant performance from Tanya Galantine, not 100% convincing. Yeah, there were definitely times in that match where she wasn't happy. The timing was different, we saw the body movement. You know, she's not 100% polished yet, but, I mean, look at the, the talent she's got there and how well she's shooting. So, again, it's going to be a great gold medal match. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, not a convincing performance, but sometimes uh, when you're at whatever sport it is that you compete at and you're not at your best and you grind away through, sometimes that in itself is enough to give you the confidence to carry on. Confirmation there that Tanya Gelantine of Denmark, the world number eight, has gone through to the gold medal match on compound Saturday in the women's individual.